The Czech Republic hosting the Biathlon World Championships for the first time ever in its 46th edition. And by winning gold in the sprint, that meant Emil Hegle Svensson of Norway would start first in the pursuit. Just an eight second advantage over Martin Fourcade. Once they got to the standing position on the range later in the race, it would be Svensson shooting clean. Martin Fourcade with a miss, and that would hurt him. Two misses in the middle of the race for Fourcade where Emil Hegler Svensson went clean for the first three stages. Gave some breathing room to Emil Hegler Svensson, but this is biathlon. They ended up catching back up on the final stage when Emil Hegler Svensson missed a shot and setting up this sprint to the finish. And the closest one of the championship. It had to go to a photo finish to decide that Emil Hegler Svensson of Norway was the winner of the gold medal, his third of these world championships. Svensson takes the top spot, while Forcott and Shapulin claim silver and bronze. Lowell Bailey from the United States for the first time in his long career shoots perfectly on the day, charges from 32nd to 13th in one of the fastest times on the day. Crowds of over 20,000 each day at the World Championships in Nove Mesto. They saw some exciting racing on both the men's and women's side, including this women's pursuit race featured Tora Berger in an unfamiliar position, having to chase after not winning in the sprint. But she held the shooting together through most of the race. A mix of virtual unknowns prior to these world championships with the big names Zaitseva from Russia and Berger from Norway, Kristina Palka from Poland, and Berger's teammate on Kristin Flatland. Mad charge to the finish, a fall just prior to the finish for the silver and bronze medal position, set up Palka and Pedrushna for silver and bronze. And for Berger, her seventh career gold medal at the World Championships and Olympics combined, moving her into a top 10 position all time among women. Berger, Palka, Pedrushna, gold, silver and bronze, and Susan Dunkley, highest U.S. finisher just inside the top 50.